Hi there, and welcome to the next in our series of micro lessons for using Virtual Belfry. Now, I've had a few comments from people who have been watching previous videos and they've seen the notation uh, flash up on the screen or they've seen it in the, the comments and they wanted to know how to add simple notation like that. Uh, now, there are some instructions about creating notation and how you build methods or exercises uh, in the videos, but this is a simple uh, lesson on adding uh, notation to Virtual Belfry for a simple exercise. So this is nothing complicated. It's just literally adding the notation that might uh, flash up on the screen as part of the other videos. So I have Virtual Belfry here. I'm going to reduce myself down to the bottom right hand corner so you can see what's going on. And we're going to look at adding a simple training exercise uh, that I did oh, probably 12 or 18 months ago uh, when I was looking at training pl using plain bob doubles. So on the left hand side here in the main view, we have the instructions for the methods. Now, there are, next to that, you have exercises and call changes. Now, these are simply different lists. And if you create notation in the right place, it will mean that you can find things a lot easier. So if you're adding a method, uh, as we did with a previous uh, adding methods from Micro Cyril uh, quick lesson, uh, you can put those in there. If you're going to do an exercise, as we are now, you can put them under exercises. Because we have six bells, we're working with doubles or minor. So if we click doubles, we get a drop down list and our exercise is a doubles exercise. These are the available ones uh, that I've created or have been part of um, Virtual Belfry's defaults. If we click the exercise list, we then get a list showing uh, all of the exercises we have. Now, as this expands, you can put in hundreds of exercises and just select using the tick box the ones that you want uh, to go into the menu. You choose them and it will then add them uh, to the menu. But we're going to create a brand new one. So our brand new exercise, we click new. We then have to give it a name and I'm going to call this uh, plain Bob training. And it automatically adds doubles to it to show that it is a doubles method. We then have to paste in the notation. I'm not going to explain the notation. Uh, I'm just going to copy it and paste it in. And that's we don't need any calls. We're not going to be having bobs or singles in this particular exercise. And we simply click OK. We now have plain bob training in the list alphabetically. It highlights it. If we click choose, we now have plain bob training double selected. And of course, as you know, if you then click generate, uh, make sure that for a single uh, course, it's set to zero on keep going. Click generate. And there we have it. Now, all this method does is this, uh, the Bell number two just makes seconds. Bell number three just does a uh, three, four up dodge. Four does a three, four down dodge. And five just does long four, long fifth, sorry, uh, or four strokes at the back. So those are the four parts of playing Bob. It doesn't do anything else. So consequently, if you use the keep going, you can basically practice uh, over and over and over uh, just that particular um, bells work or place bells work uh, within plain bob to help you learn it. So that's the reason that I created the exercise. Um, so simply use exercises, click doubles or obviously minor if you're doing minor, uh, click the exercise list, add your notation. That's it. You've got a simple exercise installed in Virtual Belfry. Hope that's been useful. This is a micro lesson. It's just a single subject. Uh, if it has been useful, then please drop me a comment below. If there's anything else you'd like to see, uh, drop me a comment below the same. Or, of course, you can contact me by email. Uh, please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notification of when more 
videos are released on the channel. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all soon.